So it is officially holiday season. As I'm filming this video, Thanksgiving in the United States is next week. So I figure what better time than now to share with you guys some fragrances that I think will be perfect for Thanksgiving, but also for other holidays. So even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, if you celebrate any holidays around this time of year, I honestly think these would all work. So if you're interested in seeing my lineup, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do wanna quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, these fragrances are going to be all perfect for Thanksgiving, no matter how you're celebrating. I know some of you all celebrate in a very classy way. Some of you all just kick it like with your immediate family and are in pajamas all day. And some of us go to friends' houses or family's houses and we do a little something, like we dress up a little bit, but we're not doing too much. It's still like a very chill Thanksgiving. So I have fragrances that will fit all three of those scenarios. So let's go ahead and get into it. So these will be in no particular order. The first fragrance that I have to share with you is from Maison Francis Kirkjean, and this is Grand Soir. Now this is like the quintessential fall winter fragrance for me. It is so gorgeous. It is a beautiful amber vanilla scent that is resinous and warm and very enveloping. When you wear this fragrance, it just feels like it's covering you head to toe, even though it's not overpowering. And I think that that's something to be said about this. The way it lays on your skin, it's just, it's magical. Like it feels so warm and covering, but never like too much. Although it is potent, people will smell you. It's not so like sharp, boom, pow in your face. And I actually think you can get away with wearing this in other seasons besides fall and winter. But for me, I typically reserve it for this time of year. It is gorgeous. And I think that if you are hosting Thanksgiving, this would be absolutely perfect. Um, honestly, I would wear this if I was going to somebody's house for Thanksgiving as well, if it was more of a like chill type Thanksgiving. I never go to like dressy holiday occasions really. <laughs> Most of my, if I do visit people on the holidays, it's all very chill, like close family, close friends, that's it. Uh, but I honestly think that if you were going to a more formal dinner, this would absolutely work even if you're not hosting it. It is just gorgeous and regal, but not doing too much. So <laughs> this is MFK Grand Soir. The next fragrance that I have, I think it's perfect for those of you who live in a warmer climate or if you're going to be doing Thanksgiving outside. <laughs> I know, I mean, COVID has still not gone, gone away. So I know a lot of people, especially like down in the area where I live, do Thanksgiving outside or do it like a cookout type deal. So <laughs> if that's you, I think this fragrance would be perfect. This is Killian Apple Brandy on the Rocks. And the reason that I chose this is because it is beautiful apple brandy scent which sounds like perfect for fall right but this fragrance is lightened up with i believe bergamot there's definitely something citrusy and zesty in this fragrance and that makes it really unique to me so it almost kind of has a minty smell to it as well i don't know if i've mentioned that before when i've talked about this fragrance but it's warm but at the same time it's also bright and energizing and so i think it would work for a variety of occasions but it still smells fall like to me you know because of the apple even though i definitely think this can be worn year round i think when i smell it it does remind me of fall and i think this would be perfect if you were going to be doing an outdoor thanksgiving or if you're just doing like a chill thanksgiving going to a family's house I think this will be perfect and would not be overpowering. That's another thing I wanted to mention. So all of these fragrances, I didn't want to pick anything that's too overpowering. I mean, some of them are kind of borderline, <laughs> but nothing that's too overpowering. All these fragrances I think will be likable for others because you will be in close contact or, you know, at least close vicinity with a lot of people. So when I go to these type of things, I never want to wear something that could be considered offensive or that may give someone a headache. So just FYI. So I think Apple Brandy on the Rocks fits that bill perfectly. 
The next fragrance I have is like the cozy cousin of Apple Brandy on the Rocks. This is Killian Angel Share. Now this fragrance is warm and inviting and boozy. It has that apple and cinnamon and I believe, I don't know if it's rum or cognac, but there's definitely an alcoholic note to this, but it's still sweet and just, I don't know, it smells delicious y'all. It smells absolutely delicious. And I think that this would be perfect for going to a, somebody's house or even just chilling at home. I love to wear this at home. And I think that even if you're just chilling with your family, like your immediate family or by yourself, this definitely puts you in the holiday mood or it puts me in the holiday mood when I smell it. And I think it's the apple, the way it's blended in here is just gorgeous. And I think this would be perfect for pretty much any type of Thanksgiving or holiday occasion. So that is Angel Share by Killian. The next fragrance I have is from BDK and this is Velvet Tonka. Now this fragrance to me just gives me a cozy feeling. Like I can imagine wearing this and snuggling up on a blanket and just watching movies. I know people watch like football or whatever on Thanksgiving. Not my thing, but <laughs> if you are watching football or just hanging out with very close family, just so relaxed and just eating and you know, doing your thing, I think this would be perfect. It's so sweet, it's cozy. I definitely get almond, like a cherry twist out of this. I don't believe cherry is a note, but the almond in this does have that cherry undertone to it. It also smells like vanilla and tonka, a little bit spicy, but not much, honestly. Overall, this fragrance to me is just very warm, cozy, inviting, and very chill in my opinion this is not something i would wear to a more formal occasion um, for me this is strictly like around the house i love wearing this to bed y'all but around the house or close friends will be perfect so that is velvet talk about bdk so the next fragrance is one that i've had for a while but i hardly ever talk about it this is from amouage and this is journey woman to me this smells like fall it is gorgeous now, I have described this before smelling like decaying flowers, but in a good way, and I still totally get that. <laughs> like when I smell this fragrance, I just think about like dying flowers. That sounds gross, but I promise you it smells good. So it's a little bit sweet, it's also spicy. I believe there's some sort of resin in this as well. Kind of gives it that ambery touch, but then there's also florals, but I feel like these are deep, dark florals. I love it. It's really beautiful and interesting, very different. And I think this will be perfect if you're hosting a Thanksgiving or if you're going to a formal occasion. I just think it's, it's so good and it smells like fall and nobody's gonna smell like you, but this is still not offensive. I've gotten so many compliments whenever I wear it. I don't wear it that often to be completely honest, but when I do, I always get compliments on it. And now that I'm smelling it, I feel like I want to wear it more. But anyway, this is Amouage Journey Woman. Next up is a classic, and this is from Tom Ford. It is Tobacco Vani. This fragrance, y'all know, I love. It is sweet. It's a little bit smoky, but not so much so. It doesn't smell like you're, you've been smoking or anything like that. It smells like a sweet tobacco. And mix that with vanilla and some spices, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this. Whenever it gets to this time of year, I immediately start wanting to pull this out. It reminds me of like Christmas and just that time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't know why, but it definitely does. It has that, I don't know, the, the tobacco in this is, it's sweet, but it's also kind of light at the same time. Hopefully that makes sense. But it, it's gorgeous. I love this. It's definitely a unisex fragrance, but I think women can pull this off very easily, very, very easily, even though it's not a feminine scent. I love this one. Now, I think this would fit perfectly for visiting someone or for a formal occasion, and you could wear this whether you're the host or the guest. I don't think it would be too much. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous, and yeah, I think people around you will love it. So that is Tobacco Vani from Tom Ford. One other thing that I forgot to mention is when I was thinking about these fragrances, I was thinking about fragrances that wouldn't smell bad around food. <laughs> I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but I'm mentioning it now because some fragrances I feel like if they're very strong and you know you have all these different food smells in the house, I feel like it could be like too much. So um, just FYI, all of these fragrances I think will work perfectly around a lot of different food smells. 
So the next fragrance would definitely be for the host of the party. <laughs> this is from Roja Parfums and it is Sweetie Oud. Now this was sent to me a while ago, but this is the time of year that I should be wearing this fragrance. It is gorgeous. So it smells kind of like a chocolatey, woody, gourmand scent. And then in that you also have some bakery type smells in this as well. May sound weird, but I promise you it's gorgeous. There is oud in here, but it's not a barnyard oud. It's not very strong oud. I think it blends in very well with the gourmand nature of this fragrance without this being like an overpowering gourmand. So I definitely think this would be great for anybody hosting a party or a get together or whatever. And although oud is in this, it's not an overpowering scent. So I also think this will work well if you're going to a more formal sit down dinner even if you're the guest and not the host. But if I were hosting Thanksgiving and I had a lot of people coming over, I would probably be wearing this one. It's gorgeous and it's just so regal and luxe and just plush. <laughs> so that is Roja Sweetie Oud. I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I've been getting over a cold. I feel better, but my voice still sounds kind of weird and I'm also still having some coughing. So sorry if I sound a little strange or if I have to cut parts of this video because I get into a coughing spell, so please forgive. So next up is a fragrance that personally always reminds me of Thanksgiving. This is from Jo Malone, it's Ginger Biscuit Cologne. And I mean, I felt like I needed to mention this, but it is discontinued, so I, I apologize. But I know a lot of you have this fragrance, so I wanted to mention it anyway. And this is like the quintessential Thanksgiving for me. So it smells like gingerbread cookies or ginger snap, it is, sweet but at the same time it's spicy and it's a little bit zesty and the ginger in this is just very well done although this is a gourmand scent and smells very edible it is not overpowering it sits on the skin really well and it actually lasts pretty well so i have definitely worn this on thanksgiving before i've worn this when it was just like my immediate family such so as husband and the kids hanging out at home not doing too much so i think it would fit perfectly for a situation like that but also if you're doing like a more like chill situation with family or friends it'll work perfectly for that too and you will get compliments and people will think you smell like cookies and or cake so <laughs> be prepared but this is delicious and gorgeous and if you're interested in this fragrance keep an eye out because i feel like they usually release it again like every year around black friday around thanksgiving so Keep an eye out for it if you're interested. I'm sure they're going to bring it back because they bring it back almost every year. So anyway, that is Jo Malone Ginger Biscuit. So the next fragrance that I have is from L'Artisan Parfumer and this is Noir Exquise. So this fragrance is sweet. It's a little bit smoky. I believe chestnut is the nutty note in this and it's just a very fall smelling scent. It definitely has some woody tones to it as well, but it's not a lot. I have seen this compared to By the Fireplace from Maison Margiela Replica. And I can kind of get that just slightly, but this is nowhere near the intensity of By the Fireplace. To me, that fragrance can be hard to wear because it is very woody, it's very sweet, it's very everything, right? It smells very literal like a campfire. This has notions of that, but it's nowhere near being as literal as by the fireplace. So I think the chestnut note in this is what smells very similar to the by the fireplace. But other than that, this one is just in the same family, but this is the very extra toned down <laughs> cousin of by the fireplace. It is absolutely gorgeous. And although the notes are heavy, like kind of has those heavy gourmand notes to it, it's done in a very light, translucent way. So I honestly feel like you can get away with this even in the warmer weather, because y'all know I live in Florida. First day of fall, I wore this fragrance and I guarantee you it was over 80 degrees. And I was perfectly fine with that. It gives you fall vibes without being too heavy. So yeah, I definitely think this will work for a chill Thanksgiving, um, Thanksgiving with the family. Even for a formal occasion, if you like gourmand scents and you like woody smoky scents, but you don't want to do too much, I definitely think this will work. So check it out if you're interested. It's quite affordable. You can find them on the gray market, <laughs> like, you know, all the discounter websites uh, for a very good price. So that is L'Artisan Parfumer Noir Exquise. 
All right, and this last fragrance I think would work perfectly for Thanksgiving, but also for Christmas or any other holiday. To me, it is a all-arounder. <laughs> this is from Maison Francis Kirk Jean and it's Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum. Now, you can also substitute in here the Eau de Parfum. It's just which one you prefer, but I feel like they serve the same purpose. So I think this will be perfect for a host of a Thanksgiving dinner or a formal Thanksgiving dinner because it just has that vibe to it. Everybody knows what Baccarat Rouge smells like. That's why I don't mention it that often, honestly. But I couldn't leave it out of this video because I think it's perfect for uh, these types of occasions. It, it's just, it's gorgeous and people are gonna smell it on you, but it's never overpowering. So it has a sweet and spicy saffron note to it. It kind of gives you cotton candy vibes, but not really. Um, but I, that's just an easier way to describe it. But honestly, that probably doesn't do it justice. I feel like this fragrance is very hard to explain. The extrait version does have that bitter almond note to it, which you can definitely smell the difference. And to me, that makes it a little bit more full than the original Eau de Parfum. But overall, it's just a very interesting scent. If you take away the fact that everybody talks about it on YouTube or on Instagram, Take away all of that and you just smell the fragrance on its own. I think it's quite interesting. It's quite different and perfect for the host or for a formal Thanksgiving. I just think that if I were doing a formal one, I definitely would pick this. Also, if I were hosting and had a lot of family coming over, I would pick this too because I know people would smell me. Baccarat Rouge is one of those fragrances when you walk by people, they smell you, they compliment you on it, but it's not overpowering in the least bit. So yeah, Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum would work perfectly for Thanksgiving. So those were the 10 fragrances that I think would work perfectly for Thanksgiving, no matter how you're celebrating. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, thanks for watching anyway. And <laughs> you can apply this to any get together you may be having at this time of year as well. I think these will work for pretty much any type of fun occasion over the next couple months. In the comments below, I know y'all are frag heads, so y'all probably already planned out your Thanksgiving SOTD. <laughs> so if you have picked your fragrance that you're going to be wearing on Thanksgiving, leave that in the comments below and let us know what type of occasion. If it's going to be more chill, more like just you and your immediate family, or like a very big formal dinner type situation, let us know because I would love to know what you guys pick. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Also, make sure you're subscribed and follow me over on Instagram. I always give you guys sneak peeks and just do little check-ins over there. So make sure you follow me over there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.